Namdikano. Do what the Yorubas did when MK Wabiola was in prison. Renal Mokri. Popular political analyst Renal Mokri has condemned the use of force in demanding the release of those in incarceration. Nigerian News reports that various public figures have urged Bola Tinubu to release the leader of IPOB in Amdikano so as to put an end to the unrest in the southeast. According to them, the violence in the region would end as soon as the federal government set Kano free. However, Omokri opined that it is unwise for the region to hurt itself while trying to spite those in power. Well, you know, Aloy Jemaka has come out to say that the unrest in the southeast has nothing to do with IPOB. Um, to be honest, of course, it's very un- Why would you hurt yourself? No, 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 no. But why? Why? The system order is effective as it is, but then when it comes to violence, killings, and all that, that has nothing to do with, you know, IPOB. And why I know that is because Alej Jemaka, who is the actual lead counsel and lawyer for both IPOB, the organization, and Inam the has come out to say it. And I am of the opinion that IPOB really needs to, they need to find a, a, a very strong strategy in order to counteract propaganda that is against them because i think it is obviously radio biafra and all that but i don't think it's as effective because the narrative that's out there and that is stronger is basically what the nigerian government put out there right and i think everyone is now under the assumption that yes the Igbos are just doing it just because you know to cause unrest if you're trying to cause unrest you would do that where it hurts if if someone doesn't already care about you and you hurt yourself to make them care about you then what are you trying to achieve, right? And that's why I think Renan Mokri is wrong because he is also of the assumption and or of the thinking that the killings happening and the you know horrible things that are happening in the in the southeast is because is because of they're trying to they're trying to trigger the government to release Inam Dikanu and I'm like, well that is not the truth and you know Allah Jamaka has come out to say, but then how many, what's the reach of this one lawyer? This lawyer does not, should not be the media press publicity secretary of IPOB as well, because you literally have Allah Jamaka doing you know, full time work. Um, and so that is why, you know, because his reach is not as strong, you then have people like Renan Mokri of this opinion who would then come out and say, you know, you should not use force to get what you want, you should not use this, you should not use that. And I'm like, yeah, and he said he describes it as cutting his own nose or cutting your own nose. Um, he referred to how the Yorubas um, acted when MK Abila was in jail and urged the re- region to take a page out of their book. He wrote, when Abjola was in jail, the Yorubas did not destroy their region to force Abacha to release MK Abila. Obviously, we know that the, the IPOB is not behind the killings and the mayhem that's happening in the southeast. Um, they used diplomacy to turn Abacha into an international pariah until Abacha was f- forced to offer Abiola, which Abiola ultimately refused. I'm so... Like... I think Renamokri is feeding into the delusion. Like, history... History, 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 right? Th- to be very careful not to incite, but there is already an agenda against egos. And it's, it, you, it goes back to our history. So for you to use things like demo- di- diplomacy, like, are you, like, excuse me, it's literally feeding into the delusion that that is what, like, the people that egos... Well, the government and, you know, Igbo people. Like, it's not a... It's not a higher... Bi- like, you can see even how, when it comes to zoning and the pres- the presidential election, how the, the, everyone did everything within their power to make sure that no Igbo person would be president. Right? It's not about competence. No, the guy was good enough. He was Igbo. So, it's much deeper than just diplomacy. 
like sorry like it's very shameful that he's coming out to say it's, it's you know it, um the eagles have to be diplomatic first of all let's correct the narrative ipop are not triggering attacks and mayhem in the southeast to get the government to release americano that is wrong first of all and secondly if ipop are trying to get um in americano out of prison diplomacy you think they haven't employed diplo- the diplomatic actions i don't understand no inam Rikanu's spokesperson and his lawyers for the past how many years what have they been doing and that is the thing is it diplomacy when the dss you know disobeys court orders because the courts have literally said you no know, a couple of times to release inam Rikanu, but pff, did the dss agree so this is a is way, way more than diplomacy because you know it's not like as if Inamdukano has not been ordered to be released by the court. He has been, but so I think you know with Verna Mokri, it, like it's just he's also f- he's feeding a narrative for Ipob and it was of the delusion of diplomacy. Oh, just talk things out, like come on, and then tries to use you know um, history of the Europe. Like it's not even like. I don't even know how to describe it, but this is way more than just, oh, let's go and sit in the room and have coffee and biscuits and not talk about how we are going to... No. This, you know, for lack of a better word, it, it, it's a war. It's a war. And there's and when you have a deep hatred for people, it's not diplomacy that you're going to be using to, you know, get your point across. But I think in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.